Hey everybody, it's David from Red Wagon Dioramas, and today I thought I'd give you a look at my custom Luke Skywalker in the back to tank from Empire Strikes Back. This is for the 6-inch Black Series line. I have the 6-inch Hoth Luke here and the Wampa in the background just to get the sense of the scale. So I made this about three years ago, honestly. This was one of the first pieces I made after I made my Hoth diorama because I had some room there in the Echo Base part and I thought it'd be great to have a back to tank in there. So recently I had to move my Hoth diorama so I had to disassemble everything, including the back to tank. So that's why I have it out here. And I thought before I put it back together, I would do a video on it, kind of show you a little bit about the figure, a little bit about the back to tank itself. All right, so let's look at Luke. So this is a pretty basic custom. It's Farm Boy Luke from the Black Series line as far as the torso, the arms. You can see the double pin, double jointed elbows they used to have on those early figures. But under that white tunic, he's just, you know, shirtless like this. So that was a good start to the figure. The head, I swapped that for the wet hair Luke. That's from the uh, when he's in the Stormtrooper disguise, when he's inside the trash compactor. So that's the wet head sculpt from Hasbro. And then the legs were the last find that helped me put this figure together because it was so hard at the time to find barefooted um, Black Series legs. So these were actually the legs from the Dana Barrett figure from the Ghostbusters, that, that line that came out from Hasbro. The skin tone color is a little bit off. The legs are lighter than the upper body, you know, but it was close enough inside the tube that I didn't think it was very noticeable. I mean, I suppose if you really wanted to be, you know, really particular, you could repaint the flesh tone on the legs, try to match it a little better, but I didn't see that as very necessary. Uh, Farm Boy Luke already came with the diaper, so I just made this belt. Let's see, how did I make the belt? I think it's just a rubber band. Yeah, it's just a rubber band with some cut up pieces of styrene that I threaded through there and glued together and just kind of glued it there on the front. So that's basically the custom, the wet hair head sculpt from the Stormtrooper uh, Death Star escape figure, the upper body from the Farm Boy Luke, the legs from Dana Barrett, and a scratch built belt. And I've shared this custom in the Facebook group that I'm in, the Star Wars Custom Galaxy before, but I don't think I've ever done a video on it, so I thought I would just add it to the channel here. Okay, so the back to tank first is made up of a couple different pieces. The tube was sourced on Amazon, it was just a piece of clear acrylic I think it was, might have been called laboratory piping or something. Um, sort of expensive. I think it was around 20 bucks or so, and it came in different lengths. So I chose a 9-inch piece because that was about the right height for a 6-inch figure. So I got the pipe, and then the base and the top here are from a construction project I was involved with at work, and these are some extra pieces that were left over. They are part of a roof paver pedestal system. If I can find a picture of it on Google, I'll put it here in the video so you get a sense of what these are. But this is an example of just kind of seeing something laying around my office and thinking, hey, that might work for something. So if I got a clear four inch pipe, I could have a back to tank. So that's how it started. Unfortunately, this piece I ordered from Amazon, the outside diameter was a little bit thicker. I think a little bit larger than the standard like schedule 40 pipe that we were using. So it didn't fit and I had to tweak things. Let me pull this off here and I'll show you a little bit more. So this is all just loose set together. So I'll just put, bring Luke right out of here and I'll set him aside for a sec. You can see the uh, blue LED light I have on top of here. There's a switch right here. So that gives some of the blue tint to the to the piece. This should pop right out. Yep, so it's just in there dry. All I did with this pipe was I, I did a, a very faint blue watery wash. You can kind of see the paint there dripping down the side there in the back. And that was just to kind of tint it a little bit to get more of that bluish water look. It's an eight inch piece of pipe. Here's a look at the base. Now in order, because the diameter was a little different on the pipe compared to what I was expecting, I had to put this second rim in here. This is a piece of, I think it's a lid from like a piece of Tupperware or something that I had to cut off and I hot glued it in here. But that just was perfect just to, to receive you know, the pipe there and let it fit in. So I have that same plastic uh, lid here on the bottom and on the top yeah there you go if luke doesn't fall off here see this blue lid here so that's a piece of like i don't know temporary ziploc portable container something like that we had around the kitchen and i just glued it onto the bottom of that and i also it also gave me the idea that this was already blue colored this is i could do the lights and kind of have that translucent blue look to it i'll turn it on again you see the the lights come on this light was something I got at five below for a couple bucks, probably five bucks. And it was some little weird display stand, but it had blue LEDs and it was perfect. I just took it apart and kept the batteries 
and move the switch over here to the side and you know hot glued it in place it didn't take much work to do that there there's a good look get a sense of what's going on there at the top now for the straps these are fabric elastic fabric straps that my wife had in her craft cabinet so i made kind of a harness there for luke and these are just super glued together and just glued to the top of the container there there's a piece of um black thread of some sort coming down to the face mask this is the oxygen mask that came with i think it came with was it Jin urso on edu it was either that one or it came with uh han solo on the exogorth set but anyway it's a black series oxygen mask that i use and then i just added that extra piece of black twine to make the hose longer and then luke just kind of sits in here right just kind of hangs there so he's you know very realistic to the movie he's just kind of hanging there in place and i put the tube here on the base and drop him in there with the blue tint on the pipe and the blue lights it looks pretty cool so that wraps it up a little bit of creativity with some scratch built parts and pieces a little bit of inspiration a special order piece from Amazon, and that's how it came together. All right, if you enjoyed this, hit the like button for me, guys. Let me know in the comments what you think, and uh, here's some other videos you can watch too. Thanks for watching, guys.